and welcome to STEM at Home. My name's Mr. Norman. We're going to build a crystal radio today. It's going to be very similar to a so-called foxhole radio. The only difference is a foxhole radio uses a pencil and a, a razor blade that's been heated up um, for the diode that we're going to substitute the diode because the razor blade um, method, the, the sound is very low and um, so you can hear better how we're going to use the diode. The things we're going to need today are a toilet paper tube, a wire with a, a lacquer on it, it could be wire with a coating on it of any kind, this is magnet wire and you can buy it. You're going to need about 70 feet of magnet wire to wrap your coil. Um, you're going to need a piece of wood or a piece of cardboard to mount your radio on. You're going to need um, a long wire for um, your antenna the longer the better and a short wire for the ground um, you're going to need some tape and you'll need you'll have to order a diode or get a diode some the easiest way is to go on Google and put in the uh, diode crystal radio. The two that I recommend are there's one called a 1N34A and there's one called a 1N270 and those two are designed to work with the radio frequencies that we want to listen to. Um, in addition to that you're going to need a high impedance earphone so um, and they also are known as a piezo electric ear crystal earphone. Um, in addition to that, you will need some wire strippers or um, some way to strip the wire. Um, sometimes you have little pliers that have cutters on them. You can use those cutters if you're careful to strip the wire. Um, because when we are attaching it um, together, uh, we'll need it to be touching each other. Also, a box cutter or sandpaper to for a magnet wire to to scuff off the lacquer on it so that the wire will will touch when we when we connect it together. The things you will have to buy from the internet or if you know another place to get them that's great but the things you would have to buy are the magnet wire, the diode, and the piezo electric earphone or high impedance earphone. If you just put in um, earphone crystal radio you'll get a a lot of them on Google. Same with the diodes. If you put in um, crystal radio diode and then put the 1N34A or, or the 1N270, you don't need both of them but just one of them. And you also have to order some magnet wire unless you have some other kind of wire around the house. You could use um, a uh, any kind of wire that's that's covered with something that in, to insulate, and um, but you do need 70 feet of it, so you need a lot of a lot of wire, and that is pretty much everything we need. A ruler would be helpful. Um, a marker would be helpful when you're trying to count the 120. Um, uh, wraps on your coil and um, so let's start making our crystal radio. I forgot also you're going to need 
You can get these from the um, hardware store. You're going to need these small, small sized um, wire nuts and you'll need three of them for this project. You can get them at the hardware store usually. The first thing we're going to do to build our crystal radio is to take our toilet paper roll and put tape on it. Make one piece of tape go across and around the end and the other piece of tape I mean the other side also take the tape and secure it on the bottom like that then press it down on top of that piece of tape put one other piece of tape right on top of that that one you don't wrap around okay so to start out with I have my wire on a, um, a sewing um, thread um, holder but you can get somebody to put a pencil on a on their hand like this and they can hold it while you pull out <clears throat> so we're going to pull out about a foot to be to be our first so we have about a, a foot loose at the end here you can see we're going to peel back our tape and then put our wire underneath the tape and then tape it back and that will hold the um, wire in place then we begin to wrap our wire and we want to make sure that the wraps go right next to one another as close as, as possible. As you're putting the wraps on, you want to make sure they're as close to being next to each other as you can. And we need to do 120 wraps. That makes a coil which is resonant on radio frequencies that we want to listen to. And we're going to keep, we're going to keep adding to the coil. If you need to stop, you can peel back the tape and come around.
and secure the the wire underneath the tape and tape tape it down that way when you're stopped for a while your coil won't come apart um, so we're going to continue so we undo the tape again hold your coil you have to keep holding your coil all the time when you don't have the tape on it so that it doesn't come undone okay once you've got your coil about two and three quarters inch long then you want to count you tape off your wire and then count the number of coils you may need a magnifying glass to do this um, I found it helpful to use a marker to mark where I've counted as I'm going along um, but you want to count 120 so if you have 118 go ahead and add two more or if you have 122 subtract two two coils uh, two wraps um, from it once you have have your coil the next thing to do is to take your coil and the ends of the wires scrape them with sandpaper to get to get the coating off of them so when you connect it to the, the other other wires that it conducts electricity and do that to both ends both sides of your coil remember when you're wrapping when you're cutting your coil off to leave about a foot at the end at just like you did in the beginning leaving a foot make sure as you're sandpapering off or you can scrape with an exacto knife too but sandpaper I like sandpaper better but um, make sure that you get all the coating off. The uh, you'll notice it. The wire will change color to a dull color from the um, from the shiny color that it was with the with the lacquer on it. And you want to make sure you get all that that lacquer off of there. If you decide to use the box cutter or the an exacto knife to scrape off the lacquer on the magnet wire you'll need an adult to help you the coil should be put on the board without the the wires touching the board so I cut two little pieces of cardboard for the coil to sit on and I've measured out where they should be and then I'm going to tape them down And then I put the coil on and I'm going to tape down the coil, put the coil on so it's sitting, the ends are sitting on the cardboard and the coil is raised above the wood.
once you have that down, the next thing to do is to assemble your other components. Once you've got your coil mounted, then it's time to attach the components. We're going to tape down the antenna because uh, it'll be there'll be a pulling on that line, so we want it taped down so it doesn't pull the connector apart. We'll put a couple of them there, a couple of pieces of tape. Then you want to take your wire from your coil, wire from your antenna, and you want to make sure the tops of them are even. And then you want to bend your diode. You don't want to bend it near the you don't want to bend it near the glass. You want to bend it away from the glass so that you don't break the diode, but you're going to bend it around like it's in a U shape, like this. Then we're going to attach it attach them all together and use and use a wire nut to join all three of the wires, the antenna wire, the coil wire, and the wire from the um, from the um, diode. And you twist this nut on there. You keep twisting till it gets harder to twist. Then, once we've got that, we're going to attach the. We're going to, we're going to attach one side of the um, of the earphones. Now, to do that, we're going to bend one of the leads on the diode over like this. So bend it all the way over because the wires aren't quite thick enough for the for these for these wire nuts. So if we bend that over it'll make it thick thicker wire. And then put your um, your earphone wire there and then turn it on again until it gets hard to to turn. And then we have to attach the ground. I'm going to tape off the ground because that will be pulling also. And then attach one side of the earphone, the ground, and the coil together. You can twist them a little bit together. your nut on there again until it gets difficult to turn. Okay, now we've got our crystal radio assembled. We've got the 
coil connected to the antenna and the one of the leads of the diode and then we've got the earphone attached to the other lead of the diode we've got the we have one of them a lead attached of the earphone attached to the diode and one lead attached to the coil and also the ground attached to the coil and now we can test our crystal radio now we're going to take our ground wire and attach it to a metal pipe in the house if you have a metal pipe under your kitchen sink or a metal under your um, bathroom sink and to do that we're going to have to strip off the plastic layer on the wire and then we'll just I have two wires but only because this wire we have is twisted together you don't need two wires. Um, I twist it together like that and then we're going to put on tape like this. Put tape on and then we're going to tape this to the water pipe. I've taped the ground wire to a metal pipe. You can tape it to a, a water pipe or a, um, a waste water pipe on your plumbing system. Then I've put the antenna up on a door top of a door and hung it up so it doesn't touch the ground and let's have you have a listen to the to the crystal radio As you can hear on the uh, crystal radio, we're getting more than one station. That's because we can't adjust the uh, the coil size on this crystal radio. But if you want to uh, make more advanced crystal radios, there are videos on YouTube on how to do that. One thing that's important to remember is if you're putting an antenna out uh, outside, is to stay away from any electrical lines or if you're dropping your antenna out of a window you want to look very carefully to make sure there's no electrical lines um, below your below where you're, where you're putting your antenna. I want to thank you for watching STEM at Home and I hope you've enjoyed this um, adventure of building a crystal radio. We'll see you next time.